I figured I should fill up my YouTube with something. And I've always been bad at these type of videos. I know I have four of them up, but there are just some things you can't say on cast. There are just some things you can't write. Some things you can't tweet about. Some things you just have to say. You just have to get out. So this is what I'm going to call Out With It. I actually had one episode of that. But, uh, which I recorded at the Twitch office, but it didn't, uh, never, never saw the light of day because I wasn't happy with it. That's my forever problem, is that I'm never really happy with anything. And um, I think that's, uh, that's one of the things I have to work on. Um, there are really no point to these videos other than me just pressing record, talking for about five minutes, and seeing what happens. This is helping me, at least me, to get things off of my mind. Uh, that have been bothering me, that have been uh, things that I want to say. Not necessarily bad things, but hopefully the purpose of these videos is to not only make my, myself feel better, but also um, find some kindred spirits in the people who run into these videos. So, you know, this isn't a Vlogbrothers. This isn't going to be some big series. This is just some words from me. been doing this streaming thing for a year now and um it has been interesting to see how my personality has changed um over the course of the last year uh, i've gone as far to say that to some people um they wouldn't recognize me anymore uh i'm louder i'm more extroverted than i used to be um i have this uh this comfort with myself that I've never had in the past um, because streaming has brought that out in me. It's not even the games. Uh, I think it's more the person to person interaction. The fact that I have to win hearts and minds over. And I think that's what's been on my mind lately. On my mind lately is, is that, you know, we look at metrics. We look at metrics in the Twitch community. You know, I have to look at metrics as a Twitch employee. I have to look at ways that we can, you know, make broadcasters' lives better, make broadcasters' lives easier, make them more successful, make them better partners. Being a partner, I've, I've, I've tried to think of that problem over and over and over again, and since I can actually do something about it as an employee of Twitch, I try to do that, but, you know, there are times when I, the, the, the things are just too nebulous. They're just too nebulous to to put a feature on, right? And it's, it's really a comfort thing. It's, it's the who has it, who has it, and who doesn't. And I'm not going to take five minutes to say that I don't have it. Because I think with the community that I have, that I'm extremely proud of, I do have it in some way, or I can develop it at least. Something I'm really proud of is my ability to learn. What the battle is, is not getting to 10k followers, it's not getting to 5K, 500 subs, 1000 subs. It's being that person that when I press that live button, that people will prioritize. That people will say, Brian's on, I'm going right over there. I'm in a weird time slot, I'm, I usually cast at 8pm PST, PDT, Pacific, whatever, whatever the daytime, daylight savings time thing is. And I follow 100 people, but in like 20 of them, 20, 20 to 25 of them are on at that specific time. So it's not about how many followers you get. Heck, you know, I, I see people with 1,000 followers getting better numbers than I do. And, is it, no, you know, don't worry about it, right? You don't worry about it. But then you see the people on Twitter, you see the people on, you know, that are singing the praises of the, of the broadcasters they love. And I would be... I would be lying if I didn't say I wanted to be that for people. If not just to make myself feel better, to make myself feel more whole, is to affect people in a way that they become evangelists for you. That they become people that want to bring other people in. That they want other people to meet you because they themselves respect you so much. And I think... And I think with that, that's something I'm going to have to work on. What that's going to be, what that's going to take, I don't know. 
but I think it's at least nice to get it off my chest. And hopefully more of these will provide me the, a way to create a dialogue with people in order to find out a way to, one, maybe become more comfortable with myself, become more comfortable with my situation, become a better person. Because that is really what Twitch has become for me. It has made me into a very different person, and I want that person to be better. So with that said, I hope that you enjoy these whenever I get to make them. And I'll try and edit them and keep them as raw as possible because uh, less work on me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time. See you later, Crusaders.